Henry Valance of Ocracoke talks about the Doxy clam plant on the island. Amy Glass interviewed Mr. Valance in 1988 for the Southern Oral History Program. The Outer Banks Community Foundation provided funds to digitize the original recording. Prosperity peaked up on Ocracoke around 1900. A man came here and built a clam factory. And I guess that was the first time the women had a chance to make any money, I guess, before maybe they'd hurry out. I knew my mother, say she worked for a dollar a week, helping people in their homes, you know. But then, she told me, when she got a job at the clam factory, picking clams after the steam, six an hour. Six an hour. <laughs> but later they decided, <laughs> what do you want to get this part or not? And they're going to ask the old man for a raise to eight cents. So they pointed the window. <laughs> Evidently, she was a tight and big guy, so they pointed her to go to the old man. And he was sitting out on the porch where he was cool, you know, Mama said. And so when he, she told him what they wanted, he said, well, I reckon you need a raise if you're going to ride in patent leather shoes to work. Patent leather shoes? <laughs> Must be a sky. <laughs> but anyway, they got the raise. But still, that was for her. Uh, well, that was 64 cents a day. Well, for, uh, you know, a girl picked up three or four dollars a week then. And like Mama, she made her own clothes and everything. We made them for me when I was a kid, you know, shirts and things like that. How many years did the clam factory operate? Uh, I, I think, I don't know, I don't believe it operated right in the winter, the winter time, so when it got cold, because most of them, and they caught them with rakes. They had to get old board, and I don't imagine many of them had waders, you know, like they have this day and time. So, I'd say maybe from April to October, the best, I mean, I don't remember it, but uh, what I've heard him talk about. Okay. And it seems like an old man, maybe he had hunters in wintertime. He used to be a lot of hunters come here, you know, duck hunters, you know? Mm -hmm. That was a big business here years ago, too. Because mm -hmm. I heard Papa say some, one time that some guy come here and stole a bunch of guns out of that building. You know when you come in the harbor, like you're coming from Cedar Island? Mm -hmm. It was on the south side, the clam factory right. was. Mm -hmm. Doxy uh, was his name. Mm -hmm. So I'm like my daddy, I think he said he was a dumper. He dumped the shells. He worked out wild, and he, he crammed too for the market too. Mm -hmm. But I think like all the pickers, thing, he was a women and girls, you know. Mm -hmm. So I imagine he was a big boost. You know? so the pickers were the ones who opened. The yeah, they family. steamed them. You know, they had a boiler, but they steamed them, and then they they had. A, Pick them out of the shell, I guess, and carry them, you know, and ship them off. Oh, so they would actually put them out there and camp. Oh, yeah, carry them and ship them off, you know. Um, do you know how, what, how many years that plant operated? Well, I don't, I don't, it must be in three or four years or maybe longer. I, I, I don't remember ever asking Mama, Papa, and you know, anybody else. Mm -hmm. But then the guy moved us, you know, maybe the plants got a little scarce, so he moved down to Florida. Mm -hmm. 